anything. Uh, let me show you how you can insert a Google document if you want to for the future. I'm going to click on the pencil icon to edit the page. And I place my cursor where I want to put the Google document. And I just go up to Insert, Drive, and then you'll notice I have these different Google options. And I'm going to choose Document. And it's going to show me all of my recent documents. Uh, I guess I'll stick the syllabus in there, why not? Um, and then I'm going to hit Select. So you would find your notes. And I just hit Save. I don't need to change any of the options. And you'll notice it puts it in as a gray box, which is actually kind of cool because it's not wasting time downloading the document while you're editing. But it can be a little unnerving at first. You're like, what happened to my picture? What happened to my video? What happened to my uh, document? Or whatever it is that you're trying to insert. It puts it in as a placeholder to start with. When you hit Save, that's going to show up. So take a look at this. I hit Save. And now you'll notice that my document is embedded. Now notice how I have to scroll down because it's more than one page. Um, so it embeds it in there. But what's cool is if you, as you take notes, is if you edit that, it will automatically update on your digital portfolio on your website. So you won't have to go back and fix it again. So that's a really cool feature. Uh, but you don't need to worry about that today. All you need to do is uh, type some notes. It's day one, so you don't have to get crazy with it. We expect to, the day one to be a little bit lame. And then for your reflection, normally it has to be 300 words, but it's your first one, so just put some reflection. Um, we'll take anything for the first week, and then we expect your, you to get better uh, the second and third week um, to start to 